Hello, my name is Ryan. I am your PLTL leader, and we are on module four going over the nitrogenous bases. So the nitrogenous bases are found on each nucleotide along the nucleic acid among the DNA or RNA, but in this case it's DNA. Keep in mind, since we are talking about DNA, we are using thymine T instead of uracil, which is U. If this were RNA, then each of these T's would just be a U. So on this diagram, we have two nucleic acids running along to make the double helix DNA. Each strand has a five end and a three end. And I want you to take notice that the opposing strand is the opposite because these strands run anti-parallel to each other. On this strand, we have four of the five nitrogenous bases because each nucleic acid only uses four out of the five nitrogenous bases. We are using thymine in our place of uracil. As we can see here, adenine listed as A is bonded through a hydrogen bond to thymine. Here we have guanine, listed as G, going through a hydrogen bond to cytosine. I want to remind you that adenine and guanine are purines, and thymine and cytosine are pyrimidines. A purine always matches with a pyrimidine. And that is it for the nitrogenous bases.